I shine academy. In a dark world, this place is my candle. A Bible's gone missing, and when things go missing, people call me. Was out late last night looking for Olivia's dog. Better grab a cup of Troy's chocolate milk to clear my head. Found her puppy south of Soho running with a pack of dachshunds. Brought it back to her, but it wasn't the same. Running with dachshunds changes a puppy. What'll it be, T? The usual. Trouble with uh, two cubes of bad attitude? I had a bad reputation. I'm trying to change that. Troy's chocolate milk tastes like my gym shirt after an eight-mile run. What'd you say? He said that Troy's chocolate milk tastes... I heard what he said. I wanted him to say it again. Oops. They weren't supposed to hear that. Delicious. Yeah. Who's the spectacles and the dame? Ah. That's Professor Reginald Featherwood and his assistant, Mrs. Pillywag. He's here looking for Mr. B's Bible. What she's doing here, I have no idea. She looks smarter than him. Impossible. Nothing's impossible. <clears throat> well, thank you for the tip. What's a tip? It's something we don't see around here. Uh... I don't believe Mr. B's Bible is in that plant. I say, old chap, the vase appears to be priceless, but the cumulus acutus uh, is fake. Yes, must be plastic of some sort. There's a lot of fake things in this world, Doc. I learned that the hard way. Mm. As for that Bible, any news? I'll let my assistant Pillywag fill you in. Mm. I've got insurance. So, what's the scoop, Pillywag? You want to shed some light on this missing Bible? No. You want to let me in on what's going down? Seriously, no. Can you just explain? Boy, you're a snoopy little sleuth, aren't you, kid? Sit down, detective. We'll fill you in together. The Bible is the single most historically accurate document we have in existence. Historically accurate, huh? I thought it was just a bunch of stories that I was taught during my Sunday school lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Silly boy. <Yeah. laughs> Those stories you speak of talk about cities and nations and peoples that have actually been proven to exist by ancient historians and archaeologists. No document exists that has been more scrutinized, more confirmed in ancient literature than the Holy Bible. And believe me, we've checked. I personally have perused 3,474 pieces of literature. Most of those being Clifford the Big Red Dog. That dog goes everywhere. <laughs> we've studied more than Clifford, though. The museum is proud to have in its collection thousands of ancient documents, but not one of them has more meaning or purpose as the Holy Bible. Hmm... It appears I'm no longer looking for just the Bible. I'm looking for the truth. But unfortunately, we don't have a clue as to where the Bridges Bible is. Although I continue to get a feeling that it might be somewhere over by the couch. I'm a detective, sir. I don't go off feeling. I must have proof. And as for clues, I do have this. Oh, what is this? It's a letter of some sort. Dear Troy... This Troy fellow, he seems like a very handsome, very smart man. I thought just the opposite, Professor. <laughs> One card short of a full deck, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be something on the back. What? Oh, it seems to be a series of random numbers of some sort. Hmm, it appears to be a series of random numbers of some sort. That's what I just said. I don't recall. Numbers. There is one guy that knows numbers better than anyone. His name is Spencer Kane, but most people just call him... Brains. What? Brains. brains. Spencer Kane, they call him Brains. Mm -hmm. I really need to get my voice over checked, but thank you for your time. Seemed to be a nice chap. <laughs> yeah. He smelled a bit like corn chips and bologna sandwiches. Oh, corn chips and bologna sandwiches. Oh, I'm hungry. 
Lunch? <laughs> I'm starved. Mm.